You cannot see, you cannot see. You cannot see. Okay, thank you for coming up
in our midst in the presence of the Deputy Managing Director of MIPS, Mr. Nii Ajawi. We also have in our midst the presence of the Director of Membership Services Division, the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, Mr. Ake Morakio, HCI. Ladies and gentlemen, we are also highly privileged to have in our midst the presence of the Managing Director, EcoBank Nigeria, Mr. Patrick Akinuton, SCI. <laughs> Join us online. Okay, it's on the screen. You are welcome, sir. This is the video for you. Thank you very much. My pleasure to be here. Thank you very much, sir. A round of applause for you today. That's all. We will be back to members of the press. Okay, uh, before that, ladies and gentlemen, we also have in our midst the head of the legal division of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria in the person of Mrs. Rita Adeloju. I also use this opportunity to welcome other members of the Executive Management of NIPS and CIBN who are in our midst. So on this note, we hand over the floor to members of the press who are here present. So I'm going to start from a beautiful lady at that point. So just make use of um, the microphone on your front. So my name is Jessica Tarrito. I come from the Thank you very much. Have you ever been from Tuesday? Have you ever been from Tuesday? Thank you, Mr. 
engineering certification program, we went through the standard certification process and we continue to be updated in line with the emerging trends to ensure that we are ahead technology wise and move additional in the right direction. The set of exams for the first certification level will be held this year and we encourage existing practitioners and others interested in having a career in the commercial service industry to take advantage of this opportunity to enhance their knowledge and skill in electronic payment. Special thanks to the NIPS and the CRBA committee that made this a reality. And we urge everyone to be unwavering in your commitment to grow and protect the industry for the benefit of all. Thank you very much. You will agree with me that it deserves a better round of applause. So, on this note, I call on the Registrar Chief Executive of CIDM, Mr. Shere Awuke of UFCIDM, to present his address. Mr. Awuke. Thank you very much uh, for the master of ceremony. Uh, the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, all deputy governors of Central Bank of Nigeria, the President and Chairman of Council of the Challenges of Bankers of Nigeria, who is on the absent, all of his holders of the Challenges of Bankers of Nigeria, the Managing Director Chief Executive of NICS, Mr. Fred Alimo, the managing director of Echo Bank, who also doubles as my chairman of the Bankers Committee Subcommittee on Ethics and Professionalism. Thank you for being here. The deputy managing director of NIS, Sani Ajao. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen of the press. On behalf of the Governing Council of the Challenges of Bankers of Nigeria and the Board of Directors of the Nigeria Interbank Settlement System, PLC, and of course the entire banking industry, I sincerely appreciate your honoring our invitation to this press conference. I am especially grateful to the members of the Fourth Estate of the Realm for their consistent support to the activities of the Institute and the banking industry in general. I have no doubt in my mind that your support as our able allies have contributed in no small measure to the advancement of banking education and practice in Nigeria. I'm much more delighted that the Managing Director Chief Executive of NIPS, Mr. Premier Oyewo, XCIB, a staunch member of this institute and other members of the Executive Management of NIPS, our strategic partner over the years and indeed at uh, ensuring capacity building. And of course, Determined with us on this journey are all here present. Ladies and gentlemen, we have actually invited you to share with us the reward and the result of our alliance over the years to, make, to introduce into the market a professional e payment certification program to bridge the knowledge gap in the Nigeria payment ecosystem and cater for the evolving e-payment and banking landscape. This initiative was premised on the fact that the Nigerian payment ecosystem has evolved as a professional and specialty knowledge area. In order for practitioners in the financial services industry to have a distinct recognition and a clean path of enhancing their skills and competencies in implement and allied areas. The introduction 
of the certification cannot be more timely than now, given the recent experience with the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, which created serious disruption in our professional and personal lives. The pandemic brought about a new normal, and the global response to it has spurred technological advancements and innovations beyond the imagine, especially in payment services and challenge. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I must reiterate the objectives of this certification program to include among others the following. One, set the standard for e-payment expertise in Nigeria. Two, foster a category of high-performing professionals in the industry. Three, build a resilient, safe, and secure implement system in Nigeria. I wish to emphasize that the program is international in outlook, well grounded in local realities of the Nigerian implement ecosystem, and capture the current dynamics as well as all aspects of the digital financial services practices. Permit me to say that the curriculum of the program adequately covers the current trends and the required knowledge areas in line with the global best practices. It is pertinent to note that it has three levels of achievement. The levels are as follows. One, the certified implement associate, we call CIPA. This level is to provide entry-level certification path for payment professionals, and it has four subjects as follows. One, introduction to electronic payments, the e-payment. Two, e-payment operations. Three, e-payment regulations. Four, e-payment operations simulation map and experiential Explanation line. The second level is certified e-payment professionals, CEP. This level is to provide intermediate level certification path for qualified CEP and certain subjects as follows. One, the business of digital financial services and the innovation DFS. Two, the digital identity. Three, implement military environment for DFS. Five, implement security, the audit and compliance. Six, financial inclusion. Seven, implement operations, simulation operation, and experiential learning. The top level which is the certified implement specialist, the CPS. This is awarded to qualified CPP holder interested in the pursuit of a specialty path and has five subjects as follows. One, payments system innovation strategy, PSIS. Two, the payment systems of the future. Three, Implement systems and national economic development. Four, comparison of the national payment system of select countries. And five, implement operations simulation laboratory and experiential life. Considerable efforts were made to emphasize on practical application of knowledge of the candidates in this program. A significant feature of is the inclusion of e-payment operations, simulation laboratory, and experiential learning at each level of the examination. This is an interactive and role simulation model requiring candidates to respond to real-life work-based activities, drawing from all their knowledge of electronic payment system to provide solutions to the issues and challenges raised. 
It is a compulsory requirement included to test the technical knowledge, skills, and experience of the candidates. I am happy to inform you that the study paths for these certification programs are currently being developed, while the major examinations have been scheduled to hold for only the level one of the program in April 2021, which will come along with the banking professional and certification examinations of the institute. Ladies and gentlemen, the program is especially targeted at broadening the electronic knowledge and practice among practitioners and new entrants, while it is also open to all interested members of the public. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen of the press, I once again want to thank you for honoring this invitation, as well as helping us to give this press conference a very wide publicity, which is aimed at developing the capacity of implement practitioners and the banking industry and financial services at large in Nigeria in our role as the global game changer. Thank you very much. God bless you. May I also inform this honorable gallery that we also have the online presence of the following people. The representative of the CEO of Standard Chartered Bank, Mrs. Richard Ashwinovari. We also have the chairman of the Committee of Health and Bank Operations, the person of Mrs. This is Sylvia Omakwe. We have Executive Director Center for Micro Entrepreneurial Development, Mrs. Edla Ishaya. And we also have in our list the Country Human Resources Officer, City Bank Nigeria, Bunega Oluruze Mesa. On this note, I want to call on a major driver of the fintech and e-payment ecosystem in Nigeria, the managing director, EcoBank Nigeria, Mr. Afi Akinot of SCIB, to give us a goodwill message. Mr. Akinot, the floor is now yours. You have to unmute yourself, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let me use the opportunity to congratulate the CIBN and uh, NIBS, um, the one I call World Registrar, uh, Shaya Wujobi, and the CEO of NIBS, uh, Mr. Premier Ugo. Uh, for, for taking this firm step, uh, of which I'm proud to be associated with. Uh, E-banking is a critical part of uh, the running of our economy. It provides opportunity for um, improving the velocity in the economy and providing uh, efficiency that ensures particularly SMEs and uh, young entrepreneurs to uh, have the opportunity to grow their business in an efficient manner um, through the efficiency of the e-banking uh, payment system. Uh, we at EcoBank remain committed to uh, leveraging digital platforms to take financial services to every household in Nigeria. And I'm also proud that the CIBA has created this certification a program which also ensures that uh, those that get certified have an enhanced career opportunity. Uh, for us at EcoBank, we'll continue to partner with the CIBN and NIBS 
uh, as we drive uh, the economy from poverty alleviation to wealth creation. Ultimately, with 200 million people in Nigeria, the largest GDP in Africa, and with the Continental Free Trade Agreement that has commenced, uh, and Nigeria um, successfully exiting recession in record time, arising from improvements in the non-oil sector, uh, we are all set to leverage uh, the digital platforms, uh, electronic banking and payments uh, to further drive growth of the economy. So I'd like to congratulate um, the CIBN and NIPS and look forward uh, to producing uh, well-certified Nigerians, young Nigerians, and taking uh, the economy to the next level. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. So the floor is now open members of the press and then ask and now ask for questions. And now ask your questions, you need some clarifications. My name is Adrian Sahe. And uh, I would like to know when you say that you are introducing the, this new professional payment certification and it's got across all sectors. Uh, what level of uh, certification I have? Are you talking about my head? Are you talking about first uh, degree? Are you talking about uh, being a member of a Serbian working in the banking industry? I want to know what is the level of this? I think we should have uh, some of the questions so we can take them all at once. So, any other question, please? Um, my view is regarding the um, challenges that we face in the space. I mean, I know there are some you know, challenges, so those like to know the sort of challenges and how you know, this initiative directly tackles that. What is the name of the big organization? Okay, so can we quickly take those two questions? Thank you very much, Mr. Um, the requirements for participating, uh, like you said, uh, these certificates cost across, and uh, the requirements are also uh, there are in levels. The first requirement is that you are a first degree holder uh, and then you are a member of the institute. Uh, you must register as a member, which is important, uh, so that you can have all the details of a member. You must have a membership number to be able to um, conduct the exam properly for us. Uh, Again, the certification that you require uh, depending on the levels of the exams that you are doing. This is an intervention certification like we did for the microfinance. We are also going towards the schools. It's not going to be restricted to where you start working in a bank. It's going to extend to even those who are in the universities. With the linkages with us, uh, we currently have about 65 universities that are linked to the uh, China Research Bankers of Nigeria. They are not graduated, but they can write these exams uh, based on certain parameters we will set, which one of it is uh, uh, we do go through their curriculum and ensure that as soon as they are starting the exams from the various levels, uh, by the time they will get to the final level, there will be some level of uh, exemptions for them. And so, if you are starting from the uh, first level while in the school, and as you know that digital economy cuts across uh, the, the, the requirements that every sector of the Nigerian um, uh, business requires. 
So, while in school, you can also be writing. While you are finished your OND, you can begin with the first level. But the most important thing is that by if you are a graduate today and you work in the bank, you are qualified to come and write, but you must register as a member of the institute. And again, let me tell you that every person that works in the banking industry today is by law a member of the institute. Thank you very much uh, for that. On the challenges, uh, uh, my colleague and Mr. will also answer that. But let me state clearly, I already, you know, like we said, the, the breakout of pandemic. Nobody expected it. We've been having e-payment, we've been having uh, e-business, e-commerce, even before the breakout of pandemic. But I wanted to say, I mean, I'd like to say that the test of Nigerians' uh, 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 economy uh, uh, stability came fully in the breakout of the pandemic. And the payment system in Nigeria is one of the strongest in the world today. And I like to know. So when we are talking about the challenges now of financial inclusion, we need to deepen it. Access to finance is the major SDG goal. Are you with me? So it's one of those things we are trying to deep in. Knowledge in that area, competencies, capacity required is very important. And again, if you don't have that knowledge, what about the challenge of cyber security? I mean, cyber crime. What about the challenge of it? So we are trying to create new special areas of expertise in that area that will help the banking industry to grow it. But I'll allow uh, Mr. Uh, to add more to that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Strauss. Thank you for the challenges are there, and uh, this education will help the relevant skills. As you know, knowledge is power. With enhanced knowledge and training, we will help the individuals. The industry can only go and perform a lot better than we are today. And uh, in the area of uh, certification for auditors, the courses for auditors as well, just as one physical knowledge base, skill acquisition by practitioners and also innovators. The registrar says also during this speech that uh, most of the content of the course are homegrown. I've always said solving Nigeria's problem to have new people grown also. If you go to most of the rural areas of Nigeria, there are a lot of needs until you look at services that provide solutions locally to deal with them. We cannot go forward. So, deep payment is critical to any economic uh, growth of the nation. And the reduction of cash, the poor cash test campaign, within the uh, economy, we also get drive and uh, drive adoption rates. And the practitioners' continuous recertification improves the knowledge base, and they are going to have operators who are well informed about the global trends that are happening within the country. And that will help to develop new products or even enhance existing products to the benefit of uh, customers and the in uh, general. Okay, thank you, sir. We have more questions. So, um, in the absence of none, we have three questions from the representative of CNBC Africa, Elumi Makende. The first is Are they going to the lectures? Virtual or physical preceding the examinations? That is the first question. The second question What is the cost implication for each level of the program? While the third question is How do we get to know the application proceeding for the certification program? Thank you. 
Thank you very much for having me. Uh, your questions are very genuine, and uh, there will be lectures. And uh, in the spirit of uh, the certification itself, lectures will be good, uh, majorly even virtual. Uh, we have e learning platforms that are, are already, uh, been, it is already in existence, and uh, the e learning platform will be deployed fully uh, for those. Uh, who are going to take the lectures. And uh, part of the, uh, the fiscal lecture is what we also talk about uh, the uh, uh, study marks already been put in place for people. Uh, the examinations will not be designed to fail anybody, but we also believe that uh, preparation towards examination guarantees success. So that the preparation for this it is not just based on what you have known, but it's based on what you have been able to prepare well with the syllabus of the curriculum of the uh, program. So there will be lectures virtual, there will be lectures physical, but it's going to be, and um, I'll tell you that, uh, on, uh, on the light of that, it will be COVID compliant. Um, the cost. We will not be able to read out the cost to you now in details, so that we don't graduate it. It is a function of the levels we are going into, and it's also a function of what the department has been able to put out. Definitely, there's a cost attached to it. What we are going to be pleading for, or appealing, is that banks should be able to sponsor their uh, officers at this stage. Banks should be able to invest in the capacity. And so we are going into uh, collaborations with the banks. And that will be that be a form of goal as for sponsorship or subsidized sponsorship. We are going to encourage institutions to really invest because the future of banking is in this application we are talking about. That is a digital bank. And let me state this recently. The tertiary education trust fund, tech fund uh, came up with a research um, uh, foundation that is going to be established soon with 13 thematic groups. And one of the thematic groups is ICT and the digital economy. And it's going to support research. So this certification is also looking beyond just um, uh, people having needs. More research will come up with it, and in 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 nexus with what Techno is doing, the Central Bank of Nigeria, NDIC, and all relevant institutions, we are going to ensure that they encourage people to write this exam. There's no sector of the economy today that does not need or you know uh, require this education. And the application, like uh, I earlier said, is going to be through the channels of Bankers of Nigeria. And then uh, if you go to the website of NIPS today, you go to the website of the channels of Bankers of Nigeria, you will see details of how to apply, how to register for it. Preparation is now, and the table is now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Registrar, if you don't have applause for him. Without wasting our time on this note, the high public call on one of the major champions of this initiative to present the appreciation and uh, closing remarks. Mr. Lee and John Richardson. Thank you very much. Uh, let me start by congratulating us all. I want to congratulate Nigeria for this uh, uh, special uh, scheme that has not been introduced. Uh, the reason I made the comment just now that the Nigeria payment system ranked among the best in the world. Among the best in the world. Now we're taking it 
uh, a step further. I want to navigate Nigeria, navigate the government, navigate the people of Nigeria that we're having this in our own time. It's coming just at the, at the right time. The introduction of the professional electric vehicle certification uh, program uh, for Nigeria. Uh, let me start by thanking the organizers, the organizers of this event, of today's event. This has been put together by a very strong team of leaps and uh, CIBM staff. They work together to put all this together. Uh, you can say what is going on smoothly. Uh, Lillian, Nelson, everybody involved, Darene, Kyle, everybody involved in putting this together. I want to really thank everyone of uh, you for uh, this beautiful program we're having today, for, for putting it all together. Um, I want to thank the steering committee. Uh, at the outset of this whole speech, we had a joint steering committee made up of staff of NIF and staff of CIB. Uh, we've been together for at least two years to get us to where we are today. Uh, I want to thank every member, all the members of that, of that committee. Dr. Amino Beda is a member of the Mr. Lydia Boda is a member, Mr. Shemi B. is a member, Awele is a member, Kyle Day is a member, Adelia is a member, and a lot of us working together these past two years. Uh, we thank God that all our efforts, at least, will carry it with this milestone where we're launching the event today and do program starts. And thank you very much for all the efforts in these previous nights. Um, let me turn the registrar executive of uh, our OVCC, General District of Bankers of Nigeria, Mr. Shereya Rudabi, FCIB. Um, this has been a very strong partnership between NIMS and CIBM. Uh, when the whole idea came out, it was well supported by the many of two organizations. We're happy that we get to thank you very much for providing all the resources, for your full support from the beginning up until, up until now. Um, I cannot be thanked my MD, uh, CEO, uh, Premier Oyo, HCIB, MD CEO of uh, NIPS, who gave his uh, blessing right from the world go. Uh, from our relations, every one of us will be part of this historic, uh, historic event. Uh, I tell you, people will look back in decades and centuries from now on uh, to deal with the members for, for good in history that this scheme uh, is being introduced. Why am I saying that? If you miss certification, it's very scarce around, very scarce in the world, very scarce. So, what we're introducing today is not just for professionals in Nigeria, not for aspiring, those who are aspiring to be paper professionals just in Nigeria. Well, I think the registrar capital that so well the in the rest of the world. Thank God for the pressure we'll be living now. So really we invite the whole world, people that have interest in the payments, because the payment system in Nigeria not among the best. So really we certify by this thing. I tell you can really uh, stand up high wherever you are in the world as uh, a pro professional who knows his audience in the many payments. I want to thank the main director of uh, EcoBank, uh, Mr. Patrick Ake. The uh, FCIB, who is the chairman of the Ethics and Professionalism Committee. A uh, number of committees with the CIB had to vet and look at the whole scheme, look at the framework uh, along the line. We gave you a blessing, and that's what we're here today. I will thank you very much, sir, uh, for your support all through. Uh, I want to thank all my attendees who attended in this event, uh, virtual and physical. Thank you very much for your support. That are taking up to this point. I want to thank the representative of the bank entities uh, who have been with us from the beginning of this program today. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have no doubt that this is of benefit to everybody, both banks, bank staff, and the economy itself uh, at large. Uh, I can't but thank our regulators. Uh, uh, I think that very well too, the government of the central bank, the deputy governors. Uh, 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 the government in our steps the ability to do our chairman, uh, chairman of groups, another deputy government uh, in central man, the director of streaming system management department, uh, Mr. Musa Chimo, the director of party services department, uh, Mr. Okibiri. They've all helped us all along. Uh, 
to carry on to this point. And the entire ecosystem has worked so hard to carry the thing that we have to form with the system. And that's why we have the boldness to say, okay, we want to go the route of Saturday to really put the code, the stamp of the authority on the experiences and skill of, uh, of uh, practitioners uh, within this field. Uh, let me thank all participants in today's events. We send out invitations. Uh, a number of us are here physically. Mm -hmm. And I know we have a large number in the social media, uh, on Zoom, on YouTube, and all that. Thank you very much for being part of this. Show. Thank you for spending your time this morning. Uh, for being part of this. Uh, finally, I want to thank the media, uh, the print media, the electronic media, the social media. All um, of you have really uh, helped us to be here. We really call out and we all we all, we all uh, answer that call. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I, I want to say that we continue to do publicity to be so But really, it's a, it's, it's a thing that every Nigerian should be proud of that this is coming out of Nigeria at this point in time as a gift to the rest of the world. So let me close by one of the later one of us, and I want to invite practitioners, electronic payments, you may be working in banking, you are working in uh, uh, licensed uh, companies, don't like sitting at like PTSPs, PSSP, mobile money operator, no matter where you are in the ecosystem, you I assure you are working. We have brought this for you to really latch on to put the stamp of authority on your experience and your skill in the payment. So I would invite every one of us to apply and be part of this uh, and to get to really get satisfied. And as they said by our CEOs, even as far as you and the other employees, those who have the desire to take on uh, a career in e payments, you have another opportunity now to, to prepare yourself. Because the independence has become a very big thing now. So you want to work in banking or you want to work in the fintech, this becomes an additional advantage, which you have edge in getting jobs when it comes to payments. So please we welcome all you all to the media to have your tone. We have a uh, link to it on the MIPS website, on the CMA website, so the way to apply is right there. Also, as the rightly said, we welcome foreigners. The trainings we organize today. The one that lives and see I mean, more by we have people from the rest of the world to participate, particularly the virtual ones. So really, we're taking this one out, so we, we welcome the whole world to be, to be part of this. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Mr. Deputy Managing Director, we thank you for that brilliant remarks. This is a big round of applause for you today. And on that uh, fantastic notes, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, may I now bring this press conference to a close. Shall we rise as we take the national anthem?